This is horizontal subtraction 1, in which you will learn how to subtract 1. In this book, you will do 4 pages per day. Your goal is to do all 4 pages in 4 minutes or less, with 4 mistakes or less. Have your parents grade your homework and practice oral facts every day for faster progress. Practice oral facts before your work so your brain can warm up and so you will memorize your facts. To practice oral facts, go down one column and just say the answers out loud. Have someone listen to you to see if you are correct. Then go back up the column. Practice every day to be fast. Your goal is to go one way in 10 seconds. Do both columns. Let's do the first few together. 0, 8, 2, 5. We are going to focus on the top of this first page. First we have 2 minus 1. Well, to subtract by 1, simply think about which number comes before. So, what number comes before 2? 1 comes before 2. So 2 minus 1 equals 1. Next we have 1 minus 1. Once again, think about which number comes before. So what number comes before 1? 0 comes before 1. So 1 minus 1 equals 0. Now let's go on to the second page, which is a drill page. First notice that these problems go in order to help you learn and memorize your math facts. Now let's work on the first few. First we have 1 minus 1, which we know is 0. Following that is 2 minus 1, which equals 1. Next is 3 minus 1, which equals 2, because 2 comes before 3. And last is 4 minus 1, which equals 3. On this page, we're going to work on picture problems. Let's read the directions first. The directions say, write a number sentence for each problem. Now let's do an example. Here we have four birds then one bird left, so we need to subtract 1. So we have 4 minus 1, which equals 3. So there are 3 birds left. Let's do another problem. Here we have 7 birds, and then 1 flies away. So we have 7 minus 1, which equals 6. So there are 6 birds left. Now let's look at the bottom of the same page. On here, we have one number on the left and the solution on the right. So we need to figure out what plus 1 equals 8. Or, another way to look at it is we need to subtract 1 from 8 to find the missing number. So, 8 minus 1 equals 7. So 7 plus 1 equals 8. On this page, we're going to work on subtracting with double digit numbers. Let's look at the top. First we have 1 minus 1, which equals 0. Underneath that, we have 11 minus 1. Notice that 11 is 10 more than 1. So 11 minus 1 is 10 more than 1 minus 1. So 11 minus 1 equals 10, which is 10 more than 0. Now let's look at the bottom of this same page. First we have 6 minus 1, which equals 5. Following that, we have 16 minus 1, which is 10 more than 6 minus 1. So 16 minus 1 equals 15, 10 more than 5. Let's practice some more on this drill page. Let's look at number 3 first. Here we have 2 minus 1, which equals 1. Following that, we have 12 minus 1, which is 10 more than 2 minus 1. So 12 minus 1 equals 11, 10 more than 1. Let's go on to the next couple. Here we have 3 minus 1, which equals 2. After that, 13 minus 1, which equals 12, 10 more than 2. Last, we have 4 minus 1, which equals 3, and 14 minus 1, which equals 13. On this page, we are going to work on fact families. On this first addition problem, we have 4 plus 1, which equals 5. Now let's figure out what the subtraction problem will be with the same numbers. The best approach is to work backwards. So since the addition problem starts with 4, the subtraction problem will end with 4. 
and since the addition problem ends with 5, the subtraction problem will start with 5. The number 1 will stay in the same place. So the subtraction problem is 5 minus 1 equals 4. Here we have 3 plus 1 equals 4. Once again, let's work backwards to fill in the blanks of the subtraction problem. Since the addition problem ends with 4, we know the subtraction problem begins with 4. The 1 stays in the same place, and then the 3 goes at the end of the subtraction problem, because it began the addition problem. So the subtraction problem is 4 minus 1 equals 3. On the next problem, we need to figure out what minus 3 equals 1. If we work backwards from the problem above it, we know that the 4 goes in the blank because it ended the addition problem. On this page, we're going to work on similar problems. On number 3, we need to figure out what plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So now, we need to work backwards to complete number 4. So since the 2 ended the problem on number 3, it will begin the problem on number 4. So we have 2 minus 1. And so then, if the 1 began the problem on number 3, it's going to end the problem on number 4. So number 4 will be 2 minus 1 equals 1. So now we're going to go on number 13 and 14. On number 13, we have 19 plus 1, which equals... 20. Then on number 14, we're going to work backwards so we can figure out what minus 1 equals 19. So, since 20 ended the problem on number 13, on number 14, 20 is going to begin the problem. So 20 minus 1 equals 19. Remember, for success in this book, you need your parents to grade your homework daily and practice oral facts daily.